Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Mass Outdoors, and I've received several requests by people to show how I sharpen my knives in the field and other tool maintenance in the field, not at home. Uh, this is going to be a part one video showing you field maintenance, and then part two is going to be more of the bigger stuff that I keep at my home. So obviously, you're not going to want to pack, you know, these big, huge stones if you're going to if you use wet stones and things like that. So there's options out there for tool maintenance like these small Arkansas stones. And these are very packable. Um, obviously, you can see they're kind of fragile. I actually <laughs> dropped this one and it broke. Still very serviceable, no problem at all. And this is a fine stone, and this would be for uh, later in the sharpening process. Um, what I would do to get started is this. This is a Smith diamond rod. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna take all the micro bevels and it's gonna flatten them out. And that's how I would start working with my knives. And what I mean by micro bevels, if you look underneath of a microscope, you'll see the edge of a knife isn't straight like this. If you look underneath the microscope, it looks like almost serrated. It's like this. And after use, prolonged use, those micro bevels can get really straightened out like that and flat. And that's what's dulling your knife. And when you use um, a diamond, you're just kicking those bevels straight, just like that. And that's what this is going to do. So that's how I would start out usually, getting those micro bevels straightened out. And this is, again, very packable. So that's when things get a little more dull than uh, I would like. I usually keep checking my knives periodically when I am working with them. And if I feel the edge starting to give a little bit in the field, I always keep my belt, if you can kind of get a shot. I always keep my belt loaded with rouge or polishing compound. And then that way I can just kind of flip my belt out a little bit give a, a quick strop and that'll bring the edge back and that that's preferable you want to pay attention to your blades and uh, when the edge starts to get a little dull that we can just touch it up hone it with your uh, your belt you want to make sure that you're honing your knife as much as possible you don't want to be sharpening your knife all the time because you're removing steel when you're sharpening you're removing steel when you're honing a little bit but way less than when you're actually sharpening so when things get really dull, if I'm not paying attention or if um, it's raining like now and I'm getting pits in my blade and things like that, I will pack this. This is just a little kit that I pack and it has some sandpapers in it, a 2000 grit sandpaper and a 2500 grit sandpaper. That's going to take out all those um, uh, rust spots or anything like that, blemishes in the blade. And then I'll carry this. It's a 3000 grit pad. And that just will polish things out, get it looking nice. The more polished your blade is, the more flat the surface is, it, it's more apt not to rust. And then I'll keep this little chapstick container full of burly bomb. And that's what I treat my carbon steel knives with. So you can see this little, just this little tiny kit right here how packable all this is and this will keep my blades maintained throughout whatever I need plus my belt and this kit my knives are going to be maintained for weeks on end <laughs> 